LaBeouf believes Philadelphia shaped American speech more than any other city because it was the only East Coast city originally to pronounce its R's. And that R sound that so typifies American English migrated west. We're heading west ourselves on the train to Ohio. Ohio is the opening to what linguists call the Midland dialect. Midland speech lies between the varieties of the North and those of the South. For this leg of the journey, we're joined by linguist Dennis Preston. Dennis studies the strong opinions we seem to hold about what we believe is right or wrong in the speech of our fellow Americans. There's a kind of American linguistic insecurity which is very, very old. After all, we didn't invent English. There, there were the English who had a hold of it before us. And so there's a kind of lingering American insecurity that, well, maybe with English we, we don't do the very best thing. On the other hand, there's American populism and a desire not to be stuffy, not to be too correct. I've been walking around this train, asking people to draw on blank maps of the United States the areas where they think people, people speak differently. You want to write anything on it? You know, you can. So, so what they sound like they don't, something like that. They don't just do dialect areas. They identify those areas where they think the least correct or the most correct English is spoken and draw circles around that. Nine times out of ten, when you ask people to do this, they go for either the U.S. South, which is almost universally believed to be a place where bad English is spoken, or New York City. But New Yorkers, you're sure of, they don't sound yeah. like Pennsylvanians. Right? No. They say water. They say what? Water. Woulda? Water. Instead of, what do you say? Water. Water. Well, that's what I say. Americans are ambivalent about language. They may think that New York and Southern accents are bad English, but they can also find them charming. I like hearing people from uh, the South. Really? Yeah. How come? Absolutely. What do they do? I just, I just like the way they talk. I like to hear the way they talk. Let's take race out of the equation. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, if we take race out of the equation, if I go to a p place in the South where at least they are not overtly uh, uh, racist or whatever. I would tend to feel comfortable around Southerners. It makes you come, feel... Come on in here, honey. And that kind of... <laughs> that, 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 yeah, it makes me feel a little more... Uh, uh, but, I mean, there's some places in the South that me as, as a black man, I'm going to be called dead in. Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> another story, yeah. Uh, yes. It makes no difference how they sound. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 